Hi, in this video we're gonna see the layout driven flow, how to see the layers. So basically GDS Factory comes with a generic layer stack. So this defines the process of a generic silicon photonics process where we have different layers with different thicknesses and a different Z mean, a different heights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, play with the layer stack. So basically a layer stack is basically a dict of layers where every layer has a name and it, it, it maps that, that name to a layer um, so this is a tuple of two numbers a gds layer and gds purpose a thickness and a z mean it also has a material which will be used in simulations so one thing we can do once we have a, an active layer staff on the pdk uh, you can you can basically render a component in 3d this works on the browser it works even in documentation that's statically built so you can also do, so this is the 3D rendering. You can also use the same um, information to basically create a 2.5D layout view. Where basically you paste, you, you create a script. So the way to create a script is that once you have the layer stack, you can basically get this, use this get layout, uh, get layout 3D script which basically will enable you to, you be, to visualize the GTS on Kleout. So the way to have this, we can do it together for a, a different technology. Let, let's do it, for example, for the, for the Skywater PDK. So, um, so the Skywater PDK is, has also an, an open cross section. So let's do, let's call these uh, layers Skywater. So I'm gonna do import sky 30. So I'm gonna do PDK. So let's do a component. Let, let's look at the So we have these components that basically has all the components that we're gonna be able to use. So let's call example use this one. So if we hit play, we will be able to see this component here. So this is basically in order for us to see a correct color, we need to have this installed. Um, and then it basically if we set up the active technology of sky water we will be able to see this component and then because we can do these tool managed technologies we can go sky water and we can see the z stack so we basically got this number from the layer stack of sky water so if i go back to this uh, sky water there will be a, there's a fold there's a layers and basically we do something very similar to what I showed before. We create a function that returns a layer stack, and that layer stack can be used to create a, a to carry out 3D script. So if I run this this layer stack, this script, I can copy this, copy this, and I can paste it here, which is what we had before. I, I say OK, and then I can do tools 2.5D view, and then I can visualize this in 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 3D. So you can see, and this is very nice because you can actually turn on and off some layers. So let's let's say I want to turn off metal. So I can turn off the metal one and it will turn off the blue metal here and in 2.5D view. So yeah, this is the layers. Then let's just let's go to the cross section. So we've seen the layer stack, we've seen the 3D rendering, both for the generic Photonics PDK on GDS Factory and the Skywater 130. And we also shown you how to copy paste this script to be able to see it. And now we're going to see the Kleout cross section. So this is basically a different plugin that you need to install on Kleout. So inst to install a plugin on Kleout, you need to do manage packages. And I already have it installed, you will see it here. But you can just select and install. And I will install this package here. So I'm going to go back to the to the cross section example and I'm gonna show you a straight heater dope rip. 
So I hit I hit play, and because I have this Kaleo macro installed, I have the GDS Factory uh, plugin installed here. You can see it live without having to do file open. Uh, you basically go to tools. F first, I need to activate the technology because he here I still have the layer map from Skywater. So I'm going to go generic. I activate, so I get the layer map from the generic. And I can also, through a ruler, tools, pixels, and there's cross-section plan analyze. If you, yeah, and then basically I can see here the vias, the middle. So this is basically, uh, if I cut the chip in this point, this is what you will see. And in order for you to have that, you basically have to uh, create like a, I can show you here. So GDS factory, GDS factory Kelly out. So I have this get cross section script that basically will create a cross section script. So you just need to run this on your cross section script. So I have this write Kaleo pixels script that you can modify for your technology. So you can modify your thicknesses, your and your layers. Okay. So what we've seen is that we've shown you how to define a layer stack that works for simulations and works for uh, 3D rendering. We've seen uh, we've seen the layer stack for 3D rendering. I've shown you the 3D rendering here as well as in as well as the 3D rendering in layout as the pine of as the 2.5D view. And we also shown you how to do the cross section. In this case, we can even do conformal layers and you can do uh, very complicated layers. So I hope you it was useful. Thank you.